Happy Camper Radio, episode 20. Come on, let's go camping. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 20 of the Happy Camper Radio Show. I'm Skip. I am a happy camper. And without a doubt, you, my friends, can be one, too. Daniel, 20 weeks have gone by. Can you believe this? I don't believe I'm it. telling you what. We, we have been having a ball here the entire <laughs> this time. This is the highlight of my week, I have to say. Yeah. You, you know, it's, it's great having you over here. And I'm surprised that you're not out on a camping trip somewhere. I mean, I'm, I'm shocked almost. We got to rest up for... Uh... For Labor Day weekend. Yeah, well, we're going to rest up right by this fire. So let me uh, bring out the ceremonial campfire lighter. We're going to go ahead and get this monster lit. Oh, yeah. Daniel, you know, this is... Hey, it didn't rain today. It didn't rain. Hey, Can you believe it? And that's why I'm even more surprised you're still in town. It was humid as heck. Oh, my goodness. You know, I had my daughter over yesterday, and she was talking about a backyard camp out. You know, we can still squeeze another one in before the weather turns sour. Oh yeah, we got plenty and, of time. Yeah, and I think I think we'll do that too. And we had a blast podcasting from the back patio, and we may do that again as well. Maybe when the uh, mosquitoes move out, we can and, do that you know, again. And, and I know, and I know quite well that you will be there because usually when I have a backyard camp out, we have tons of food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. My go cats ahead. will be there. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, and so will half the neighborhood too. But you know, you know, that's a uh, that's quite all right. Maybe the neighbor will come over. What do you think? The neighbor on the other the side. The neighbor on the other side. What do you goes, think? Skip? No, I don't think so. He probably Aww. in his window watching. You know, he is a food connoisseur, Skip. I I know that. Okay. That he's he's also a one that really likes to monitor everything that goes on over here, including hey, us, neighborhood watch. Hey, including us putting up the tent. I know. Well, you know, got to see it, how it's done. But you know something daniel when we go camping or at least when i go camping i don't mind people watching me pitch my tent mm-hmm. my campsite is usually the highlight of the whole campground is it is it that yeah. nice because you know when i get things set up everything is set up just the way i want it mm-hmm. everything is set up perfectly and it is it is the place to be right i have enough lights i have enough tiki torches i have a fire going what about a generator you got a generator not a chance not a chance don't need one never had a use for one Mm -hmm. now granted i did have my rv at one time Mm -hmm. let's talk more about that when are we going to talk about that we'll talk about it when i get it it, when when i get it remodeled (laughs) and sold right then we'll talk about that okay (laughs) but those those days are behind me and right now it's just you know the primitive lifestyle of camping out there that is really what i'm into and that probably will be that way up until the very last day of my life you know i'll be out camping i'll be out you know and just having a great time and i'm not worried about electricity i'm not worried about all the electronic devices now well you know the iphones that's a totally different story (laughs) you know i've I've really got i've got to say you know hey they they are really awesome things to have i've brought you over yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Welcome to know, the light. <laughs> you got me part way. <laughs> wow, well, you, you, you're getting more but technical you know, than me. <laughs> well, you know, you know, and one of the good things about the iPhone, Daniel, is you know the Happy Camper Radio Show can follow all of our listeners to the campsite. In fact, mm-hmm. I encourage everybody before you go camping on your next trip, make sure you download the latest episode of the Happy Camper Radio Show, and you can take Daniel and I to the campsite with you. Now we're in the iTunes Store. You can also find us on Stitcher, Podbean, Myro Guide, and also in the BlackBerry Podcast Directory. Of course, you can always catch us online, too, at www.happycamperradio.com. Click on the podcast episodes, and you can listen to our current episode, as well as any of the previous episodes we recorded. 404-537-2267 is our phone number here at the Happy Camper Radio Show. And you can give Daniel and I a call anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, with your camping question. Just leave us your name, what part of the world you're calling from, because, Daniel, we do enjoy hearing from people from faraway places. Yep. It really gets me pumped up. Let us know where you're calling from, and also leave your camping question or comment in your voicemail. Daniel, I have got a great topic that I want to talk about today, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull you into this one or not, (laughs) because it is more along the lines of something that I do and you don't. Nothing? 
Exactly. Wow. Sitting by the fire. Oh, boy. Yeah. <sighs> And he, hey, hey, Daniel, and I have uh, done that too. Am I awake? I have done that too on a number <laughs> of occasions. Believe me, even <laughs> during the middle of the day. All right, but I want to talk today about camping chairs. That's mm-hmm. something you know we, we talk about a lot of our camping equipment that is out there, and you know we've talked about tents, we've talked about sleeping bags, cots, uh, water coolers, you name it. Mm-hmm. But we really haven't talked about one of the most essential, important camping items that we need to concentrate on when we pack our gear. Because, you know, and I I know, Daniel, I'm not trying to pick on you like I do a (laughs) a lot of times, but, you know, when we're out there camping, once I get things set up, me, yes, I like to sit around. I like to just relax. Uh, The the, the children, you know, my my nieces and nephews, if they ever show up at camp, you know, and they want to do what you do and we'll go out on a hike somewhere mm-hmm. or maybe play volleyball or swimming or jet skiing or doing whatever, you know, I say, hey, have a good time. Or don't get yourself hurt. <laughs> don't get yourself hurt. All mm-hmm. right. I'll be back here at camp. I'll have lunch. I'll have dinner ready for you. But I like to sit around. And when I, when I, when I sit around a campfire, I, it's important to me that I feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. And it is so important to me because... The idea of having a comfortable place to sit is the next best thing to a comfortable sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting around the fire and you're relaxing like this. Now, for me, like I said, I've been around a while. I've been doing this for a long time. I've seen a lot of things in my life, uh, both from the law enforcement perspective and, you know, and including what I'm doing today. But I like to take a little time to reflect back on the old times. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it gives me the an good opportunity. Old days. Yeah, the good old days. And it gives me an opportunity to sit back and think and just relax. And it gives me a real warm feeling inside. Mm-hmm. Now, the, the warmth on the outside I get from the fire. So, you know, I get uh, right. you know, two for the price of one. <laughs> but, so, you know, um, Skip, I was mm-hmm. thinking about this subject, and I went to um, I went to Brookstone the other day, and they had these massage chairs. You just got to plug it in your generator. They'll massage your oh, back. No. They've got leg massagers. It's perfect. Think about it. In front of the fire, you hook it up to the generator, you're good to go. It'll massage your whole body. What is the price tag on this? I don't know, like a 1200 or something. Are you out of your mind? Well, you, you are definitely be, out of you your mind. Do you want to be comfortable? No, Daniel. Oh, come on, Skip. Let me tell you, you what. Do you want to be comfortable or not? I could buy you a complete camping outfit and myself a new one for that kind of money. But you'll be not a chance pal. for hours and hours. Oh, man. The idea of sitting around the fire and getting comfortable is what it's all about, and I'm not going to go that far. Oh. All right. But I want to talk about camping chairs today, and I think it's an important topic we need to discuss. Now, I have seen some folks out there that have been around a lot longer than I have. But and, yeah, and Daniel, you don't want to know something, and I and I really get a kick out of this. Long? Yeah, <laughs> what I really what I really get a charge out of is the fact that some of the older folks that are out here camping mm-hmm. are bringing along their camping chairs that were designed and built, I swear, in the 1950s and 60s. Hmm. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Mm-hmm. It's almost like coming home, and you know, and you have your favorite recliner. Right. You may get a brand new living room set, mm-hmm. but if you've got that recliner that you have been accustomed to all these years, you know, and it may have a few pieces of duct tape on it, you know, to cover up the the the, uh, the cut marks and the scratches and the tears and everything. But the fact is, it's your chair, and you're comfortable with it. You don't want to part with it. I see camping chairs the same way. Some of them are very, very reliable. And you know, Daniel, comfort is the key to the whole thing, all right? You got to understand that. I don't care how bad that chair may look. It may be the flashiest. Mm -hmm. It may have a real dull look to it. You may look at my chair and say, you wouldn't catch me dead in that. Uh Uh-huh. All right, but that doesn't matter. As long as the chair is comfortable and you are relaxed that is all that matters now you know if i get up to get a cup of hot chocolate or maybe if i you know get up to get a bite to eat and i come back and somebody is sitting in my chair yes we're going to have a problem did you call seat safe that's important seat you know about safe. Se- yeah you have to call seat safe is that, is that require Wait. is that require you putting a sign on the back of your chair that no, says no, occupied no no, no. <laughs> no no before you get up you let everyone know you say seat safe and if you don't say it 
Hey, all bets are off, buddy. And somebody's going to sit in your chair. Yes, and you can't do anything Not about Not at my it. campsite. Well, that's... No, Daniel, that, hey, Daniel. I if, thought if, you were about the rules, Skip. These no, are the, the rules. The, I didn't make the, the rules. rules are when I go to a public campground, or if I go to a private campground, and I foot the bill for that particular site... The rules are what I say they are. <laughs> Don't sit in my chair. So, so okay. you're talking about the sitting thing. When you're right. at home, you you have a recliner, but the dog is always in it. I never see you in there. What, what's going on with that? that? That's okay. The dog can sit in there sometimes. Oh, okay. All right. But if I'm ready to sit in that chair, he better get his behind out of that chair. Well, he might call seat save, then and, you can't and, do and anything. Find, and then find another place <laughs> to, to lay down. The dog doesn't go camping with us either, okay? <laughs> you know, I really shouldn't say that. You know, because, you know, we talk about pet-friendly campgrounds all yeah. the time. And we constantly promote that. And that's one of the great features, you know, about recreation.gov, which we promote at the end of every show. We've got a great uh, campground we're going to visit this weekend, too. But uh, almost every one of them that I have come across are very very pet friendly you know mm-hmm. i'm talking domestic pets now mm-hmm. you know and you know if you want to bring your your, your dog along can't bring my bring, alligator can't you, bring keep, my you, gator. you keep your alligator out at the swamp oh. all right <laughs> no but but you know the you know, the pet friendly campgrounds you know hey I, i'm all for them as long as long as people you know are responsible pet owners and they monitor their pet and monitor their business you know, hey, I, I love having them along. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, you know, uh, comfort, again, is the key. Your looks are not all that important. Now, if you don't have a chair, hey, a simple log will do. Ooh. All right. What but it has. I have, know, I have on, in my younger years, Daniel, yeah. in my younger years, yes, I have sat on many a logs that were placed around a campfire mm-hmm. because I had nowhere else to sit. I'm a little more prepared today than I ever was. Mm-hmm. You know, I do have a comfortable camping chair in fact daniel here at the happy camper studios you know and in, in if, if anybody's been to our website already and has taken a good look at it there uh under the uh, studio tour button you can see you know where daniel and i podcast from this room is not totally complete yet i was really thinking about putting a sofa in here Ooh. so when we do have some guests come in you know maybe want to participate in the show or just maybe want to see you and i kick back and forth they can do that but in the meantime what kind of chairs do we have in here, Daniel? Camping chairs. Exactly. Skip. You know, what is wrong with that? Do you remember when uh, when I had my couches out by the fire in my backyard? Well, yeah. Let me tell you what. This is this is an embarrassment that you can go ahead and dive right into, Daniel. And I took them outside, and it eventually, you know, went to, you know, it went bad, and. I just left them out there, and then and whenever, they were out there for months. They were out there for a while. You had you had a complete living room set in I your did. backyard. You were jealous. I think that's why you started no, talking no, to me. You're no, like, hey, well, yeah. Daniel, you know, I, I, nice I didn't, I didn't know you there. at that particular point. I know. Point. That's saying, how well, you got over here. You're like, oh, says, this is this is an this interesting guy to have living next door to. You. <laughs> 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 but you know, Daniel, the uh, the camping chairs that are out here today. I mean, uh, depending upon what you want to pay. Now, old cheapo like me. Mm-hmm. I can get a nice camping chair that will last me for a while. I don't want to say in the uh, time span of months or years. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get a, a, a cheap old chair. Uh, but, it, you know, the ones I have always had in the past, you know, they've lasted me a good long time. And mm-hmm. I didn't spend anything, i say no more than about $13, $14 on that chair. Wow. Well, yeah. I know they have chairs now. They have chairs with uh, cup holders. Mm-hmm. They have chairs with a little table. They have chairs uh, with like uh, a little um, thing to cover you up from the sun. If it's bearing down on you, they got all kinds of different options you can get now. I know. So. Yeah, and you know, and I've I've been online, and you know, and I'll tell you, if you just go on, you know, and I don't want to go ahead and promote any any particular company or anything like that because, you know, there's a lot of good brands out there. I w- I would say that if you're going to go ahead and look for a camping chair. You decide, first of all, how much you're going to want to spend. Mm -hmm. Your comfort level is pretty much going to be dependent upon how much money that you want to fork over. Mm -hmm. Now, even though, like I say, the camping chair I've got is about, you know, $13, $14, I've had this one for over a year now. And it will last me probably until one of the metal legs bends on it, (laughs) which is a sign I probably need to lose a few pounds, and I'll go ahead and replace it. Yeah. Now, you know, I probably will the next time I go buy a camping chair, I will probably invest a little more money. Because What's your one, max? What's your max? What's the max? I'm not, I'm not concerned about that. Okay. Okay. My concern is the comfort level. 
And Daniel, you know, I have been extremely jealous of the fact that some of the people that I have seen in some of the camp outings that I've been on, Mm -hmm. I'm talking with some acquaintances that I've had, you know, over the years, you know, we get together maybe two, three times a year and maybe uh, 30 30 or 40 of us show on up. Uh Some of them have these luxurious recliners. And I mean, you just sit back in those things and you can tilt back to any particular level you want. (laughs) <laughs> on the right and left hand side of the chair, mm-hmm. there are locks. So, uh, you know, when you finally reach a comfortable position, you can lock them into place. Mm-hmm. I had somebody allow me Ooh. to sit in his chair. Uh huh. My hat's off because I don't think I would be that generous. Look, you could have called, <laughs> you know what you could have done? You could have called Seed Save and he couldn't get back in there. That's the rules, Skip. I don't Not know. this guy. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty tall guy, but he's tall too. <laughs> you know, you call seat safe. I don't want to get thrown out of a chair. <laughs> All right. You know, if he says time for me to sit down, yeah, okay, it's going to be time for me to get up. <laughs> uh, but hey, I got to admit, you know, that reclining camp chair was extremely comfortable. Hmm. The only downside for a guy my size, now I'm, I'm 6'4", and you know, I'm a pretty tall guy, and right. I know you're pretty tall, probably yourself. Uh, some of the ones that I have seen out there don't really allow for the leg room that we oh. need Ugh. yeah so i mean if you're They're in cursed. other words you know you're you're kind of you're going to be kind of bent at the knees to put your feet on the lower rung mm-hmm. of that camp chair but I'm, not, I'm still saying it's still comfortable yeah you can still have a you know a, a great time you know and, and relax all you want but you know um I wish they would make them, you know, so, you know, they, they do make them for the big and tall folks. So, they, you know, they, they don't appear to do that. We're going to go to the big and tall store and for know, our chairs some, now. Some, someday, <laughs> someday we will be recognized by the camping equipment companies, and they will build a, a camping chair, a reclining chair for the big and tall folks like you and I. Okay. Okay. But, you know, that's that's probably going to be my next investment. I'll, I will say some of the uh, ones that I have seen online – that got the name brands attached to them. Uh-huh. You can spend oh anywhere in the area from maybe about one hundred twenty-five to one hundred forty dollars. You'd spend that yeah. much? I, I would, I don't. Daniel. I would for as cheap really? as I am. I wow. probably, I probably would go ahead and uh, reach under the carpet and pull out a few twenty-dollar bills and, and <laughs> you know and head on over to the camp supply store and go ahead and buy one. But for right now, I mean this this cheap model that I bought at our local department store here about a year ago. This one is doing just fine for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I have not had the opportunity, like yourself, to just vanish, you know, at the spur of the moment and go yeah. on out there and... and Tie you know, roll. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, but, you know, if, if I end up doing some more camping, you know, like I have in the past, you know, where I've really been out there, you know, I'm going to take advantage of all the time that I have away from home and at the campsite to make myself as comfortable as I possibly can be. And that's so important. Again, comfort is the key. It's really not about the money. You know, I look at this as a one-time investment. You spend money on a hotel, Daniel. All right. <laughs> you spend money. Well, you spent money going to that uh, five-star, three-story uh, log cabin with the hey, jacuzzi. It had a hot tub, yeah. Though. Yeah, and that money was gone. All you got is memories. <laughs> and a hot tub. At least, experience. at least I'll be coming back with my camping chair. <laughs> ready to use it again. You never know, Daniel. I might even bring it here in the studio when oh. that time comes. We got enough room in here for that? We'll have to get a picture of that. Yeah, I would like to see yeah. that. But, hey, I, you know, hey, as long as it fits under the desk here, I think I'll be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> the dog might sit in it, though. It could very well be. I want to remind everybody, 404-537-2267 is the Happy Camper Radio Show where you can reach Daniel and I. Give us a call with your camping questions or comments. Anything you want to throw at us, don't throw the eggs unless you're aiming at Daniel. Wow. But, yeah, <laughs> give us a call. We'd love to hear from you any time of the day or night. You can also email us by going to our website, which is www.happycamperradio.com, and just go ahead and click on the Contact Us button. You can also email the show that way. Today we're talking about camping chairs. It is an important topic, one of the ones I really uh, should have touched on a long time ago because, you know, I do sit around the campfire, as you well know, and I'll probably be you know, bragging about that. That's one of the bragging rights I do have, Daniel, <laughs> Yeah, is that I do have, that. I have a tendency to sit around it. But, you know, hey, I eat it up. I have a great time when I'm doing it. Now, you know, most of the camping chairs out here today, okay, 
you've got the old style camping chairs the ones like i talked to you about some of the older folks maybe bring you know have you ever seen those old aluminum camping chairs uh, it's got the fabric that some. kind of zigzags back and forth. Yeah, I think we have some. You have some. I stole them from my parents, but yeah. All right. Well, how come I never see you have them out there on the patio? They're not very comfortable. Okay. I like, I like the other ones, the fold-out ones. But you're keeping them for a reason. All right. Yeah, it's if because, other people because, come out. <laughs> yeah, you let them sit in it, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. But, you, know, I, you know, some of the folks that I have seen out there at a the campsite, you know, they're still bringing their old-time chairs. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, a lot of the camping chairs today, you find, are made of canvas and metal poles, and they fold up and store in a bag, which, you know, you can store away very easily out of sight, out of mind until your next camping trip. You know, and I've always said from, the, from day one, Daniel, as long as you take good care of your camping equipment, your camping equipment is going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. It's so, so very important. I treat my camping equipment with tender, loving care. I had an opportunity to entertain some kids one time. You know, if kids from the inner city would never, never really get out yeah. and experience some of the things we did. And I'm going back into my law enforcement days. I remember going to a, a middle school to do a crime prevention program one time. And uh, I had spent several weeks there. And I, I told the kids, look, I tell you what, you continue doing the right thing here. On the last day, I'm going to bring my camping equipment along. Right. All right. And we actually got to set the, the equipment up on the backgrounds of the school. Oh, you camped at the school? Well, no, we we, we day camped. <laughs> day but, you know, camped. let me tell you something. I had the opportunity to let these kids set up camp. I didn't lift a finger. Oh. All I just told them to do. I said, look, respect my equipment. That's the <laughs> only thing I ask you to do. I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to show you how to take it down. I'm going to show you how to pack it away. Mm -hmm. All right, and we cooked, we cooked hot dogs and, you know, and had, had a great time while we were back there. Mm. But, you know, it's, you know, I, I really believe, you know, you take kids camping, it's, it's going to make them a better person in life. <laughs> you, know, you know, and I encourage everybody out there who's got camping in their heart and their soul. If you have kids, don't, don't deny them the opportunity to go out there and experience nature. It's one of the most fascinating, fun-loving things you could ever do. And it really will stick with your kids. It will really make them a better adult as they're growing up in life. So Skip, I got a question now. Mm -hmm. When you were younger and you were showing these kids what did you like to do when you went camping then? Did you just sit around then? Has it always been like this? Or no, what, no, what did you it, back it then? hasn't, Dan. What, what did you do then? There was a time in my life when I was wired like you, okay, <laughs> that I did go out and I do, did do those fun things. Right. But, I mean, as time goes on, you know, it's, it's, it's going to wear on you, and you're not going to have the kind of energy to go out there and do some of the activities. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. You know, get out there and have a great time. You know, if you want to go on a five-mile hike, great, do it. All right? But my whole situation right now, being that, you know, I'm I'm by myself, mm -hmm. I pretty much go out there and I take a lot, a lot of firewood and have it, you know, stacked there at the campsite. And I just keep it on the fire and keep the fire going. And it relaxes me. It, it you know, entertains me, if you want to call it that. <laughs> I told you mm -hmm. I got that app on my phone, that fireplace app. You didn't like that too much. Well, put in your earbuds and you can listen to it, and nobody's going to bother you. There you All go. All right, yeah. But you know, it's it, having a comfortable place to sit at the camp is is what we're talking about. Now, you know, I've even seen some of these folding stools. Oh, yeah, we yeah. have some of those too. Okay. Well, you know this. <laughs> I stole you know, those you know, from my parents too. Your parents really love you, don't they? Well, they live two miles away, and they got a lot of junk. So. Okay, so yeah, you're you're their sec secondary storage unit. Exactly. Oh, okay. Well, you're you're just you're just storing their, their <laughs> items that you have now, a tendency to chairs, bother or now, those, borrow sometimes. Yeah. Those chairs are really good for like if you're going out to see uh, fireworks or you're going to a parade, mm -hmm. that's a very good time to bring your chair because you don't want to be standing there for an hour watching a parade. Exactly. And they're it, lightweight. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. We, yeah. we, uh, we keep our camping chairs in our car because you never know when you're going to be standing around waiting for something. You know, might as well get the chair. You know, yeah. I am really surprised that you and your wife have not invested. And believe me, Daniel, and I have seen this online as, as early as yesterday. They've got a camping chair that is actually a love seat. Mm. It is designed for two people. And there is not an armrest between the seats. Oh really? Okay? It's almost like a like a, a love seat. 
you know, that, you know, were reserved specifically for a he and a she. You know, then you, and you just sit back around the fire and enjoy life that way. Uh, then she'd touch me and I'd get all hot. And, well, uh, yeah, I don't deal with that. <laughs> yeah, and, and you will get I don't hot. Cuddle, you, you will I'm get not, Daniel, not a cuddler. You will get hot if you're by my campfire because I do keep the coals burning all the time. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was because hey, you talked so hey, much. Those love seats. <laughs> those love seats look really, really nice. I have to check yeah, that out. Definitely do that. You know, and like you were just saying too. You know, the you know the they've got you know the the camping chairs with the armrests mm -hmm. and some of them with a table an end table attached to it. Yeah, we saw those the other day. We we're thinking about. Maybe getting one of those one day. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, and I also want to touch on this too, Daniel. You know, if you've got some elderly folks in your life, like you, that don't that don't get. I mean, I'm talking elderly, Daniel, that really don't get out all that much. You want to make them as comfortable as possible, even if they're just coming to your campsite for a day. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, I I have seen some some folks, you know, that have uh, that I, I've been close to in my life. Uh, not relatives, of course, but I mean, as they grew older, mm -hmm. you know, they they didn't get the opportunity to come out and camp as often as we did. And their sons or daughters, when they eventually, you know, brought them to the camp, it was just for the day, and then they had to go home in the evening. You know, it was just a they, they just couldn't handle much more than you know a day trip. But it's we well, you want to make those folks as comfortable as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you this much, Daniel, if I had to. If I had somebody like that in my life that I knew wanted to go to the campground, I would actually take the recliner out of my living room, oh my load gosh. it into the bed of my pickup <laughs> oh truck, boy. and take it to the campsite so that elderly individual okay, can have a comfortable place to sit. Could you imagine how, how much nicer and more comfortable it would be than that? Then your couch would smell like smoke, Skip. Come on now. Well, you can clean that up. Oh, all right. Boy. That's but yeah, I mean, it's just, Daniel, it's it's all about <laughs> relaxation. It's oh, all boy. about sitting by the fire. It's about having fun. We're having a fun day today, right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show, and it's time for our feature campground of the week. <laughs> We are going to the state of Illinois to Dam West Recreation Area. It's a camp and day center, and their uh, their day season. Spa? Rest. Did you say day spa? No. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's day camping too, Daniel. And this is a great place to go camping. And their season runs all the way through Wednesday, October the thirtieth. You've got to see this place, Daniel. It it is really great. It's not that far of a drive away if you want to take like maybe a four or five day trip away somewhere. You've got a lot of great activities and amenities here. They have got uh, accessible sites, an amphitheater, a boat ramp, a putt -putt. drinking water, fishing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, Daniel, they've got, a, got, they've got a marina there. They've got picnic shelters, a playground for the kids. Hey, swimming, lots of activities. You know, and this is a great place to visit, too. The Dam West Recreation Area, it's a day-use area situated on the southern shore of the Carlisle Lake, and it's a pretty nice-sized lake located 50 miles east of St. Louis. It's a great place to visit. And incidentally, you know, if you're looking for a map program, and I don't talk about this all that often, if you want a great map program and you don't have a GPS unit available, check it out on our website. It's the MapQuest program. You can actually go there and type in your, your address, your home address, your destination address, and it will map it out for you. I have used MapQuest on a number of different occasions, and it's a great uh, program to use if you're looking for a, uh, a reliable program to get you from point A to point B. Now, this particular campground, again, Dam West Recreational Area. Check their date range availability. They do have some available sites there on their website. You've got to go ahead and check them out. Look at it over, and you'll really, sign, you'll really find yourself a great place to go camping. It's the Dam West Recreation Area. It is our featured campground of the week here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. And as always, if you have a campground that you would like Daniel and I to feature on the program, all you got to do is give us a buzz. Uh, or just uh, call us up buzz. and let us know what to uh, Yeah, give us a call. <laughs> let, it, let us know what it is better yet. Email us at happycamperradio.com. Click on the homepage there and hit the contact button. Also, make sure that you uh, give us the link to the featured or to the uh, the individual campground so we can go ahead and place it on our website 
under the featured campground tab. Daniel, I had a great time today. I hope you did too. We're always having a great time here at the show, and we lo- we uh, really love having our listeners get in touch with us. I love hearing from you. Keep those emails and those phone calls coming. And Daniel, yep. Please stick around because you didn't say anything about my quilt. I brought my quilt over here, and you didn't even say anything. I, I, there's, uh, a, there's a reason for that, pal. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> oh, all right, but you look comfortable in it. And I, I, I can't. I can't knock you for that. The Happy Camper Radio Show is a presentation of Skip Uber Productions. I'm Skip. I am a happy camper. And as always, my friends, you can be one, too. This is the Happy Camper Radio Show. We'll catch you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.